Good morning, evening, night, and welcome to Impossible Science, where the impossible... It's a reality. So last week I showed you guys how to shoot an egg into a bottle, and then I showed you guys how to get the egg out of the bottle once it's in, resulting in some 5 star floor egg. Some of you guys are pretty smart, I'll give you that, especially the people that made comments such as these. The simple explanation that everyone will to understand is that it all comes down to air pressure. When I put the flaming piece of paper into the bottle, it caused the air pressure in the bottle to rise. And then I put the egg on top, there in the bottle cooled, which lowered the air pressure inside the bottle. The air pressure inside the bottle was less than the air pressure outside of the bottle, thus the egg was sucked in. To get the egg outside of the bottle, I did the exact opposite. I blew air into the bottle, which made the air pressure inside the bottle rise. The air pressure inside the bottle was greater than the air pressure outside of the bottle, which pushed the egg out. If you guys are anything like me, you have a serious problem with styrofoam cups. Once they get into your home, they just multiply and multiply, and it's pretty embarrassing when guests come over and there's styrofoam cups all over the walls. Well today, I'm going to help you fix your styrofoam home invasion with a little something called melting the styrofoam cups. For today's experiment, you're going to need some acetone, which is a very common ingredient in nail polish remover. If you do get some strong stuff, make sure you wear gloves, an empty bowl, and of course a styrofoam cup. All you have to do is place a styrofoam cup into the acetone, and the acetone will take care of your styrofoam cup problem. The cool thing about acetone is that it's a memory fluid, which means that once you melt the styrofoam cup, you can reverse the process simply by pulling it out of the acetone. Just kidding about acetone being a memory fluid. But my question to you guys is, is what's causing the acetone to melt the styrofoam cups? If you can't figure it out, don't worry, because I'll reveal all in the next episode of Impossible Science. And for all mantis, out.